Hello, hello kittens. Silver here with Lobo the Husky by Douglas Cuddle Toys. And we have a very familiar sight here. <laughs> surprise, surprise, it's another package, which is a very regular occurrence uh, here in my household. Um, but this package is one that I am especially excited for uh, because it contains kind of a mini grail of mine. Um, so I'm not even going to talk about it just yet. I'm just going to go right into it, open up the box, and describe exactly who this plush is. Alrighty, we have the box open, and I just wanted to point out that the seller included a very nice little leafy sticker here, a thank you sticker. And it looks like she actually has her own sort of personalized store sticker. Um, this was the eBay seller that I found this particular plush, or bought this particular plush from. So let us take a look. And in my excitement to open this box, I nearly nicked myself with my knife, so that was a very close call. <laughs> Luckily, you won't see any bandaged fingers or uh, or bloody wounds in this in this video. Okay, so let's see. So it looks like uh, they packaged uh, this plush really well, and Lobo is kind of a clue as to what type of dog this is. Yeah, they really packaged her good. She is like a burrito in here. Goodness gracious. Okay, so let's move the box out of the way. And I have a feeling I'm going to have to pause again in order to get her out of this very tight packaging. Well, maybe. No, yeah, I'm definitely going to have to pause. So just give me one sec. All right, so we have that little adhesive strip torn away now, so this should come out fairly easily, hopefully. There we go. And as you can probably tell, uh, this is another husky. And another very large one at that. I think she's going to be about the same size as Lobo here. So let's just... Oops. Oh, wow. I can already see the difference in the color of the coat. I was a little bit nervous at first because the seller did say that she was washed beforehand, so I was praying that there was no dryer damage, but um, feeling her now there, I can definitively say that she is very, very soft, still feels like she is in really, really good condition. So this is Nadia, and not just any version of Nadia. This is the very, very first, the earliest version of Nadia, which was my personal favorite. So let's take a look at this pretty face of hers, because I am very confident she's going to be gorgeous. So let's take a look. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. She is everything that I was expecting and then some I absolutely just I, I cannot believe that I finally got my hands on this Nadia um, oh wow she's so pretty I just love the the shape of the muzzle as a I mean the newer Nadia don't get me wrong is, is beautiful I, I don't own her myself so I can't really do a comparison um, but this version of Nadia has a little bit of a narrow, narrower muzzle. Um, and I believe her eyes are a lighter shade of blue, possibly, than, uh, than the newer uh, edition of, of Nadia. Um, just based on the pictures that I'd seen. Um, but yeah, just, oh, oh my goodness, the face. It is so, so gorgeous. Oh, wow. Oh, and her, um, let's see, well, actually, the the material on the back of the ears is a little bit different. I don't know if that's how it originally is. It, it does sort of have a little bit of a rougher texture than the rest of the fur. Um, so that might just be the way that, that it was originally made. I, I don't know entirely. It could be, uh, hopefully it wasn't a dryer thing, but I, I don't think so because the rest of the fur is uh, is really soft. And there's actually some poseable wire in her ears, which I did not realize was a feature of this plush, but that's actually pretty cool. So you can kind of manipulate that a little bit and kind of try to straighten them out. They look a little bit wrinkly. Oh my goodness, though. That face is 
absolute perfection and she really does have a, a very feminine look especially when you uh, if you compare to uh, Lobo oh you know actually it, it there's not a world of difference um, facially between the two of them um, but she does have a slightly light uh, lighter colored gray coat actually it's a significantly significantly lighter color gray um, now that I'm looking there's a lot more black in Lobo's coat or sort of a black tipped fur um, and hers that well there is some um, a sort of intermixing of colors here. You see sort of a multi-gray um, coat on her, but uh, definitely a noticeable difference between the two Huskies. But in terms of size, they look like to be about the same. Let's see. Yeah, so they're almost identical in size. And Another thing that really, oops, sorry Lobo, <laughs> another thing that really attracted uh, me about this plush was the fact that uh, she was a lot more floppy um, from what I understand compared to the uh, the current or the recently retired version of Nadia. Um, and that definitely holds up just um, <laughs> just sort of playing with her now. She's she's quite heavy actually, so it's it's hard to it's hard to do the flop test one-handed like that. Um, oh, and she's got that nice fluff on the end of her tail. So let's take a look at her tush tag and see if there is a date on that. Let's see. Ooh. Oh, it's actually quite faded. Maybe that's as a result of the washing. I'm just trying to see. Uh, yeah, it's it's much too faded to read, but I don't think there was a manufacture date. Um, yeah, I'm not sure ex exactly when Nadia was first released. She's been around for a while, but again, there, there have been several different versions of her. Um, but this was definitely the version that I most wanted. Um, and I am definitely, definitely not disappointed. Um, wow, I, I had actually seen her probably a few months back on eBay, and I didn't really know anything about Nadia. Um, I saw it and kind of let it pass, and then uh, I very quickly regretted it um, when I had seen, you know, just in-person photos of her. So I'm so, so happy to have her now. I had missed her out on her a couple of opportunities, um, but she is finally here, and I could not be happier. So... That's her. That's Nadia. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed, and I will be back again soon with some more plush goodness for you. Bye, everybody.